Good morning, turtle nerds. I am on my way to go pick up a turtle. I mean, what else is new? But I'm going to pick up a turtle who I have not seen in three years. Basically, it was kind of a scuffed breeding loan, but the point is I'm very excited to get this boy back and I'm excited to bring him, bring him back home. Now, before I get out of here, while I load up my music, this, this is dramatic. So while I load up my music, make sure that you guys hit the little subscribe button and hit the notification thingy so you get notified when I upload new videos. If you wanna support me and get some cool shirts at the same time, I have merch. There's gonna be a link right up over here. You can get some cool designs while helping to support me and the channel. Also, if you wanna go the full extra step, you get a whole bunch of perks, benefits, free merch, discount codes, whatever, phone conversations with me. You can hit the link right up over here as well and head over to my Patreon. Over there, you get you know direct contact with me, bonus videos, Videos, videos a day early sometimes, all kinds of different fun stuff, and you get to join this list of lovely people. And I think I've got my music ready, and people don't like when I take too much time on this, so let's get rolling. Yeet! We're here. All right, if you can give me a tracking number. It's a snake, please don't tell me it is. It is not a snake. Oh, thank you, God. It's a turtle. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, I, I can do a turtle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine had turtle. Two of them, and she had a That lady might have been the nicest FedEx worker, let alone human, on the planet. She called me Sweet Pea. I'm a Sweet Pea. We need to make sure he stays buckled up and safe on this car ride. Now let's get home and get him in a temporary quarantine enclosure. All right, buddy, we're home. Oops, let's get this guy inside and into a quarantine setup. Okay, we're gonna do this outside because this booger's probably gonna smell a little bit. Just one piece of tape. I don't want to be too rough because, uh, well, I don't like to cause shock to the box or anything. Let's take a look. Paper towel, paper towel. Oh, he's in a sack. Oh yeah, he's stinky. This is why I, uh, this is why I keep them, or I unbox things outside. Hi buddy, I know, hold on, hold on. He is not happy. Let's just cut this open, shall we? So I have not seen this turtle in three years. So it's been a hot minute, but I'm very, very happy that he's back. And let's see how he looks. Oh, I do not like, oh shoot. All these strings, oh God, not again. Hold on buddy, hold on buddy, hold on buddy. Freaking strings from these burlap sacks suck. Uh, the shell is not, Oh, he needs to shed all of this off, and I need to get this stuff off of his legs. Let's get all this stuff cut off. It's all over him. Glad his legs are okay. Come on, buddy. Let's get all the strings off. Okay. How did this even get? All right, come on. Come on, bud. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep, just a little more. Just a little more. Yep, keep those legs moving. Come on, we can unwrap it. I've gotten terrapins like this before where the legs have gotten caught and tangled. That's why I don't like to use these burlap sacks because they will shred and get real nasty. But other than that, he looks okay. He's got shell rot. There's a pit of shell rot right there. He's got another pit of shell rot there. You see that little dot of shell rot right there. So we're gonna go get him in his temporary enclosure now and quarantine him for a little bit in case he brought any icky nasties back with him. After about a week of quarantine, just to make sure that this boy, Beef, does not have any, like, I don't know, anything going on, not acting funny because I don't want him to introduce any pathogens or whatever into the pond, especially because he had that little bit of rot on his plaster on. I wanted to make sure that he was looking okay, and he is. He's looking all good. I've got him temperature acclimated overnight to some cooler temperatures outside, but he's been in, you know, 70-ish degree water, cooled it down to about 60 degree-ish, so now he's ready to go in the big pond. Okay, buddy, it's time to go, time to go. Yeah, he's got some little pits of, eh, little pits of shell rot, but that'll all come off. You see it was red before, it's starting to heal up now. All right, buddy, let's, let's get you into your new home. Welcome home, buddy. He's gonna come up for a break. Take off. Hi, bud. Look like he 
he was just taking a drink of water there. That's kind of interesting. Now, there he goes down into the depths of the pond. We go explore and adventure. He's going to check out the fish. The fish are going to check him out. <laughs> That's super cool to see their interactions. See? They're both kind of curious of each other. The males are a little more timid usually of this species. He's going to chase around that fish for a little bit, but the odds are low that he actually catches it. <laughs> There he goes. Chasing them fish. He's right down there chasing the fish around. He actually blends into the bottom of this pond really, really well. And that's usually what happens when I introduce a new turtle into the pond. They always go after the fish and then quickly give up on chasing them. Now he's gonna go hide into that cave. Maybe go meet Flipper. Awesome. So overall, I'm really excited to have this boy home. Hopefully he can kind of get busy with some of the girls that I have. And hopefully it gives me better chances at getting pure concentric babies rather than Pancake going around and knocking up all the girls and making little integrates. This is why I love the pond. I love that I have the ability to just take these animals, put them in something nice and big, nice and natural, and watch them start foraging and looking for food and things and swimming around and just having a good old time. I'm gonna let him get settled in, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.